Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, Vor. Alright, Vor. Okay, Vor, I see you. Let's see how you do up against my Azima. Wow. I'm sure glad this Azima is sure is doing a number on Vor. That's awesome. Wow. Hey, how's it going, sexy felines? My name is MCIK, and welcome all of your beautiful faces back to another Warframe video. Thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. We've got something pretty awesome on deck today. So today is my official 100 days played reward milestone, whatever you want to call it, for the daily tribute in Warframe. I'm excited to claim the reward. As you guys can see here, it's the Azima. So I made a video a while back talking about the Azima, so we're going to see if it can live up to the standards, the standards and my expectations, because it seems like a very good weapon. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be claiming this, and we're going to be checking the look at the weapon and seeing, you know, the stats, checking the polarities out, and of course testing it out in game. And on top of that, we're going to level it up to 30, and we're going to put some mods on it, and maybe, I don't know, we could put a catalyst on it. It all depends if I like the uh, the loadout. But uh, anyway, that is what we're going to be doing today in the game. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Sit back, relax, and uh, yeah, let's get started. So, as I usually do before uh, now my videos now, I'm going to do a random loadout for this video. So, we're going to go for a random loadout. So, let's see what we get. Uh, okay, alright. I, I can work with this. Alright, we got the Soma, we got the Vakor Murloc, and the Venka. So, of course, the Venka will be... Uh, and the Ninx, of course, too. Venka... Uh, let's see. No, the Vakor Murloc will not be used. Instead, we'll be using the Azima. So, um, we're also using not the Ninx Prime, which is just just Ninx. So let's see the build. I think the build's still good for her. Yeah, this is a good. This is a bad set. It's a halfway decent build. <laughs> Nothing to brag about. It, it'll be fine for now. And the Soma. Oh my God. When was the last time I used a Soma? Jesus. Oh my! Like update fourteen, something like that. I can't. I cannot remember the last time. I, I think the last time I used it was when the Summer Prime came out. I literally have not used this thing since. Ah, oh, good old Summer. Okay, it'll be fine. Doesn't matter. All right. Anyway, the moment of the the, the weapon of the hour, the Azima. It looks interesting. It looks like I said once again. It looks like a freaking unicorn. Hopefully, it's as badass as unicorn stats wise. So uh, let's take a look at this first. Uh, Kind of looks like one of those nerf disc launchers. You guys know what I'm talking about? Reminds me a lot of that. Okay, so. Now let's get on to the stats. So, okay. Uh, slash is 13. So, oh, starting off, we got decently slow mid slash damage. That's not bad. That'll be good for infested, I guess. Uh, five puncture, two impact. So, pretty garbage for the rest of them. Trigger is automatic, so you can hold the, you can hold the button down. Status chance is 10. Uh, okay, so not a stat, not a stat weapon. Alright, reloads 4.0 or 4, 1.4, sorry. 4.0 would be insane. Jesus. It's like the super. Um, the alarming, of course, fire rate is 10. This magazine's 75. That's, that's quite large. Ooh, this is not looking too well. The critical multiplier is 2.0 and the critical chance. <sighs> Ooh, I don't know about you guys, but my butt, my butt cheeks just clenched like crazy. I, I am, oh, I am, oh god, that did not feel good. Ten percent critical chance. This is, this is ass. Okay, all right. Well, it's very mediocre. I'll give it that. Uh, maybe it just needs some mods. I don't know. Ten percent status. Ten, ten percent critical chance. It just doesn't seem like a good. I don't know. Maybe it's like the bolter. Maybe it's built around base damage. So I'm not gonna judge it too harshly yet. So. Let's take a look at the polarities and see what we have to work with. Okay. Alright. Okay, well, we got two polarities. That's not terrible. We got we get a dash for an elemental mod, and we have a V for base damage mods. Okay. You made you made up for a little bit a little bit of okay, Zima, you made up for it. I don't know if you're going to be worthy of a catalyst right now in time, at this point in time, but we're going to go take, you, take a look in the mission and uh, see how this thing works, the mechanics, and uh, we'll check it out. Ooh, Animal Instinct, look at that. Sexy, okay. Uh, yeah, we're actually going to do the mission. Uh, so I'm going to go take a look at this, this weapon in game and see how it plays out. Alright, this is a nightmare mission though, I just realized. 
So this might not be the best mission to test it on. I kind of want the animal instinct. But uh, here goes nothing. We're going to use my abilities. Hopefully that will save me. Oh, ah, okay. All right, so, so far, I thought it was going to be some sort of elaborate firing method, but it seems to just be an automatic pistol. That seems to be doing quite a bit of damage. These are level 22s, keep in mind. Huh, level 20 is not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. For, for, for an unranked weapon, you know. Uh, that's not terrible. All right, you're dead. <laughs> oh, God, please die. Jeez, this unranked weapon is doing more damage than my damn Venka, which has a, a freaking catalyst on it and a freaking Forma. Jesus. Okay, maybe... I'm overthinking this, but maybe... <laughs> maybe this was the, not such a good mission to try this on. At the same time, though, it's kind of nice to do a harder mission once in a while for testing a weapon out. Because you can kind of see how much damage it can actually do for higher enemies, like a level 21s and a level 22s. Surprisingly, to say the least, it's killing them quite fast. For level 20s and, and whatnot, if that makes any sense. Um, Alright, so not terrible. I like the reload, though. Check the reload out. You kind of pop the entire magazine out and you just kind of... <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty cool, actually. I like that. Kind of reminds me of a nerf gun, a nerf weapon, if you guys understand. That means, um, yeah, and the fire rate's pretty fast too. It seems to be accurate as hell, actually. Hey, don't you dare! Don't you dare! Oh, I thought you were gonna trigger the alarm. Did I just? No, that was. I thought that, I thought I proc status for a second there. Oh, I saw a crit there. That was terrible. God damn it. <laughs> I can't say much about this weapon right now just because it has no mods on it. But what I can say is that the damage, the raw damage, isn't terrible. Alright, check out that nullifier pretty easily. Alright, well. Okay, so, so far, not terrible. And not too good either. So, we'll go level it, we'll go level it up to 30. Take a look at this once more, and maybe put some mods on it. And if I need, if I if be you know if I, if I feel like it needs it, I will put a catalyst on it. But that all depends. Um, when I get this thing leveled up more, if I feel like it needs one, right now you know like right now and then, or I can save it for another time, uh, for another one. You know what I mean? So we'll go level to thirty, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we have leveled it up to thirty, and surprisingly, it's not terrible. I'm. I was using it on Draco, and that's my text alert. I'm sorry about that. My notification went off. It said, wow, you know, from uh, all, every, literally every MLG thing. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, um, it's actually not terrible. I've been using it during Draco while leveling, and it's not a terrible weapon. It went off again. I'm so sorry. I'm going to mute this right now, actually. I, I forget every time to do that. Okay. Um... Anyway, this is what I have on just from a little bit of leveling. So, we can definitely add more mods. So, let's take off Jolt. Uh, as you guys can see, I was able to fit on all the base mods. You know what I mean? Like, you know, Lithotorn, Bale Diffusion, and Hornet Strike, uh, Barrel Diffusion. I don't want to slur my words now. Um, <laughs> and we have Heated to Strike on here as well. Because there's a slash. And, freaking, it works. It works really well. I think I'm going to move this around like this. And... Yeah, we're, we'll do elements on top. So, let's say we'll go for... Let's, uh, what's, what faction do we want to build it for right now? You know, let's go for... Let's see, it's Slash. So, maybe the Void. We'll do Corrosive Damage and go to the Void. We'll see how that works. Okay, so we want uh, Convulsion, and we also want... Do I even have the... Oh my god, do I even have... Toxic? That awkward moment when you forget you don't even have freaking pathogen rounds. Alright. I don't even actually know if I had pathogen rounds, but I have it now. So, freaking good. That's good stuff. Okay. We got that, and uh, we're going to put a catalyst on this thing. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's why I was able to get all the mods on here. Oh, that makes so much sense now. <laughs> okay, it already has it already has one installed, pre-installed into the weapon. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. All right. 
Um, we have 15 left, so we can throw on two more uh, stat mods. I'm thinking, uh, yeah, more, a little more jolt. For more electricity with the corrosive, and then a little bit more toxic damage. Where's my eight toxic damage? I know I have a pistol pestilence. Oh, yeah, no, I can, fit, I can fit them both on. Look at that. Okay, so it brings us up to 50% status chance. That's not actually terrible. So, if anything at all, this is going to be a, a decent status weapon, actually. This is going to be a pretty decent status weapon. Corrosive is actually really high damage, so base damage is going to be great, and status is going to be pretty good. We're just missing one mod slot, so... Honestly, this isn't going to be a terrible weapon. So, we're going to go t uh, take a another look at this weapon uh, back into a void mission and see how this thing does... We're gonna do a T4 exterminate. I like to do. I like to test them on that. It's just a fun mission to run and to see how well they can do up against a T4. So let's try it out. All right, moment of truth. Let's pull out our Azima. Looking pretty freaking badass, I must say. All right, here we go. All right, prepare to meet your maker. Ooh. Ooh. That heavy gunner just went down instantly fast. Holy crap. Dude, look how fast it kills those smaller targets, though. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh, that is nice. Now, keep in mind, though, I do have a fire rate mod on here. I do have... Uh, what's it called? Oh, of course. Of course, of course. They're going to come right now. The parent sequence comes always in the void. It's got to be some sort of thing with the drop chance. Or not the drop chance, but the spawn rate. So weird. Okay, here comes the cluster buttfuck of enemies. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Jeez. You can't all rape me at once. Come on. Take your turn. Didn't you remember I take it? Alright. Let's uh, do some absorbing. Okay, I guess we're not attacking anyone. I guess it turns them into dummies. Damn, this thing is destroying them. Though. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my god. Okay, so if. Okay, out of anything though, the thing that I'm seeing the most efficient out of this everything, I mean, of course, this is gonna be a bit of an ammo burning weapon. It's gonna burn quite a bit of ammo, but it's also gonna have some great DPS, which means for heavier targets, it'll take them down much faster. Also, the accuracy is nice. I think I might have said that before, but the accuracy is not bad. Wow. Ooh, that was definitely a, a dumb decision on my part. Heavy gunners? I think not. <laughs> Damn. Ah, uh, this is a really bad Nynx build, so that's why I'm dying a lot. But um, ooh, this is really good damage. I'm gonna, I might actually complete the mission just to. Just doesn't want to see how far I can go with this one weapon. But, yeah, this is not bad damage for a T4 exterminate. Um, against heavies right there, it's doing that heavy. You know, it's not terrible. I mean, it could use, I'd say, one forma. Maybe two if I need it. I don't know, maybe two. Two if I wanted to add more element mods, more base element mods. Oh, that sneaky little butcher. <laughs> Literally. Okay, um, anyway, overall, I'd rate this probably the, uh, the MCIK rating system, I'd rate it a, I don't know, a 7 out of 10. Actually, a more of a 6 out of 10. It's got decent status now that you, you mod it well enough, uh, but it will take some forma, a little bit of forma, and, uh, it's a bit of an ammo burner, so it will kind of, that will probably piss me off when I'm in the late game. And enemies getting started hard to get kill, you know. You'll have to burn through a lot of ammo, which can kind of be a pain in the ass and whatnot. Um, not a lot of criticals, so that definitely doesn't score any brownie points with the old MCIK. But other than that, not a terrible weapon. Six out of ten. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed today's video of uh, the Azima first look and my impressions and uh, what I thought of the weapon. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video once again. Subscribe today to join the feline pack if you guys haven't already. That would be amazing. You guys would not regret it. Thank you for watching once again. My name is MCIK, and I will see you sex felines for the next video, whatever it may be. 
It may be a horror game. Who knows? Keep your eyes out for that. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. And peace out. Ready, aim, fire.